Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Anand Verma on the behalf of Respiratory Medicine, welcoming you all on the inaugural function of State Chapter UP, Cell of National Academy of Medical Sciences here at ERA University. The chief guest for the today's function is Professor R. K. Sareen, who is present president of NAMS and director and chancellor of Institute of Liver and Biliary Sciences. He'll, uh, he'll be joining uh, us in a short while. Welcome, Professor Sareen, sir. So as uh, today's uh, guest of, uh, one of the today's guest of honor, uh, Dr. Umesh Kapil, who is presently the secretary of NAMS, will also be joining. We have uh, special dignitaries uh, for today's function. First of all, I would like to introduce you all a very dynamic lady. ex-VC of KGMU and the past pre president of NAMS. Probably she is the first lady who was awarded MCH in pediatric surgery. Please welcome Professor Saro Churamani. A special per uh, person is uh, with today, uh, Professor Dr. Behre. He is a well-known figure in the pulmonology in India and abroad as well. A Padma Awardee, pioneer in lung oncology and chemotherapy. Please welcome Dr. D. Barry. Here on the dais, we have Lieutenant General Vipin Puri, sir, who is PBSM and BSM Awardee. Ex-Director General, Armed Forces Medical Services, and uh, great news for Lucknow Wallow. Uh, if you don't know, you will be glad to know that he is alumni of uh, Lamartinia College way back in 1966 to 74. Presently, he is VC of King George's Medical University. Please welcome <laughs> Lieutenant General Puri Sahib. Now welcome Professor of Hepatology, Director SGPGI, Professor R.K. Dhiman, an alumni of KGMC, recipient of Dr. B.C. Rai National Award. His special field of interest is complications of cirrhosis and hepatic encephalopathy. Please welcome. I am going to, uh, rather, uh, we don't uh, need uh, any introduction for the most dynamic lady of the ERA University. She is Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Farjana Mehendi, who has immense contribution in making our college a esteemed institution and taking it to the new heights. She is the lifeline of our institution. Please welcome Professor Farjana Mehendi. Now, I am going to introduce a person, uh, although he does not need any introduction. In respiratory field of medicine, he is better known as res respiratory search engine Google. B.C. Rai Award, Director of Medical Education and Convener, State Chapter, Cell of NAMS. Please welcome Professor Rajin Prashad, sir. Lastly, you will see a person ever smiling, very popular figure in our medical college, Professor Jamal Masood. He is principal and CMS. Please welcome. Now, for further progression, uh, continuation of the program, I will hand over mic to Dr. Uh, Sonia Jaiswal. He will take over the mic. Thank you so much, sir. We will start with the lamp lighting ceremony. But before that, just a few words 
as Mahatma Gandhi says, in the midst of darkness, light persists. Light symbolizes brightness and prosperity. It removes the forces of darkness and gives us positivity. Let us invoke the blessings of God by lighting the lamp. I request all dignitaries to come forward and light the lamp of knowledge. dignitaries you may now take your seats I request Professor Rajin Prasad sir convener National Academy of Medical Sciences state chapter Uttar Pradesh to give the welcome address and introduce the National Academy of Medical Sciences all the dignitaries sitting on the dais here and then the chief guest of today's function Dr. Sarin who is an online he has joined and Dr. Kapil, who is the secretary of National Academy of Medical Sciences, he also joined online. And then sitting here, a great stalwart, I must say, Madam Churamani, then Dr. Bipin Puri, then Dr. Dhiman, then Professor Behra, and our own Farjana Mehdi. Many of the a very distinguished person sitting in front of me on the of the dais, I must say. If I start taking name of everyone, probably whole of the function will... Otherwise, we are already little delayed. And I, at the outset, I am extremely sorry because it was a hybrid mode. A hybrid rule of... One of the rule of the hybrid mode is you start in time. But there was little delay in the starting. And so I will probably cover in my own, uh, I have given about 15 minutes, so I will reduce about 5 minutes. At the very outset, I uh, welcome you all for this, uh, uh, something uh, very new in the state of Uttar Pradesh, I must say that we have established a cell of National Academy of Medical Sciences, UP, what you call it as UP chapter. I happens to be the convener for the state of Uttar Pradesh. So we started this with the all blessings for, our, for whole of our administration. Dr. Me, Dr. Abbas, who is unfortunately not here today because he has to leave for some very important issue. And then uh, Farjana Mehdi was here and, and all the trustees of this era university. So my job is to talk you about the National Academy first and then maybe a little bit about the state chapter. So what I am going to tell, maybe in about 7-8 minutes, I will not take much time, although it was given to me about 15 minutes, about the National Academy of India. You know, this academy has many functions to perform, I must say, that family is very big and it has got a lot of members, fellows, Emeritus professors, there are a lot of orations and awards. Every year convocations are being held. One annals is being published, one journal is being published by National Academy of Medical Sciences. And uh, we have auditorium in Delhi and headquarters is basically at Delhi. For your information, this was, this is the, the academy actually of any thing. It is a medical science is supposed to be one of the biggest thing in the country. So this is belong to medical sciences. This is something very, not more than this. This is what is known as National Academy of Medical Sciences. You can just say it is start, it was established in 1961. And then uh, this is the building. And the, you know the first function inauguration of National Academy was done no other than then Prime Minister of the country, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. And then first convocation was addressed. Usually it used to be addressed by the President. So first convocation was addressed by uh, Dr. S. Radha Krishnan Palli. And uh, it has got many activities. A promotion of knowledge of medical sciences, recognition and encouragement of merit in branches of medicine through membership and fellowship to publish such proceedings 
promote the maintain and liaison between medicine and other science that is also one job and to secure coordination between medical and other scientific academies societies association institution government medical and scientific this is what are the memorandum says to seek help and cooperation of international agencies and national bodies of other countries to act through properly constituted national committee for medical scientific subjects for undertaking medical scientific work of national and Im international importance in the academy may call upon to perform by public and by the government to secure manage funds to undertake any steps that assist in conduce to the necessary for fulfillment of above mentioned aims and to develop high level uh, post graduate examination system also that was so nms and, and and it is managed to nms council i am happy to say more many of people sitting here are they are part of nms council and as i said it has fellows it has members a new thing has happened when when dr sarin has joined his associate fellow i believe that was a, a associate fellow is for dm and mch student since the average age of academy was very high fellows becomes at very large so to make that age little younger so now there are system that one can become associate fellow after you, you did your dm less than 40 years people can apply for it members uh, who, who 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 actually has finished their dnb they can also become member and they, they are known as mnms and and there is a emeritus professor these are the structure now i'll skip many slides because if you anybody now now membership is not very difficult you just need about post graduate degree in medical or allied subjects and you have to have five years of experience after your post graduation and then you have to have at least three to five publication based on that when we became i became member in 99 it was very it was a dream to become a member of national academy at that time i must remember uh, the person who has established this institute this university professor mehdi hassan I was one of his blue-eyed boy. I must say, I was not from anatomy, but I was one of his blue-eyed boy. So, unki to ru mere andar hi basti hai. Main hamesa kehta hu. Isliye mere ko bhot log idhar udhar bolane ki koshis karte hain. But I never uh, left this institute, and, uh, and, and we are still working. So, anybody can become now member easy. If you are interested, anybody, anyone interested, please contact me. And now everything on the website. Initially, it was not on the website. Now, good news is everything is on the website. After eight years of membership, you can fill the form for fellowship. Not that you have to wait for eight years. Before that, you can fill. If you feel that your credentials are very good. It is all credential based. Nothing like anything that you have just filled the form and you will get it. There is a committee, there is a credential committee. Luckily, I have been member of the most of the committees in past. So, I know the functioning of National Academy of Medical Sciences. And uh, so, for, uh, as I said, this is the online site where you can go and you can download. And these are the eminent scientists of National Academy, you know, starting from APJ Abdul Kalam Sahab, so many great people. Abhi Sahab, Talwar Sahab ka naam le rahe the, Behra Sahab. So, they, they are all... Dr. Katoj, Dr. Ganguly, and there are so many. And uh, I'll skip these slides because the, if uh, I said in one line, if anybody you want to become, you can go on the website and find out all the requirements, fill the form, send it through credential committee, it will be decided. So, membership, fellowship, fellowship I said, there are associate fellowship, associate FMS, so their associate fellowship, there is a procedure, there are a lot of awards, orations being given by the National Academy. I was lucky to get, uh, thankful to the Academy that I was getting, uh, I was lucky to get this R.V. Azam oration last month in the last foundation day of Academy. Another function is exchange of medical scientists, junior level middle level, every level, and uh, NMS is, has been recognized by Government of India as a nodal agency for CME, for medical analysis. I am happy to say that 
when I become a state convener, first two, first two CMEs has already happened in Era Medical College. Dr. Jamal is sitting with principal today. He did the first in Department of Community Medicine, and another was conducted by Madam Farjana in, his, in her Department of Personalized Medicine. There are many more CMEs has happened. What I will request all of you, I will send you the list and, and you, can, you can do. There is a lot of support from uh, National Academy. Time will not permit me to go in details. This is one of the photographs on the foundation day. I think uh, Dr. Sareen and then Dr. Saroj Churamani, they are both visible. And our health minister. This is, this, is, this is the latest foundation day 24, even I was there in that meeting. And then <coughs> this is another new thing has happened in the academy, what I can understand is, a, is this is known as NAMS National Virtual Graduated Medical CME. In short, we abbreviate it as a Navigate Medico CME. This is, I think, the brainchild of uh, Dr. Sareen and his team. And uh, usually what happens, this is an online platform where PGs are trained by a very mentors of that particular specialty. There is a lot of program. It happens online. You can see online happening. And uh, this is for PG students. And the PG student can register by paying very small amount of money and they can attend all the CMEs online. Dates have been fixed. Their link has been provided. So that is one of the very important program, I think. And uh, there's a link for mentor, link for registration, everything. Uh, since we have inaugurated this, <laughs> this is how this, this is state chapter of UP cell and uh, this was established in this era medical college in my room. The study board was placed there. And what, what we wanted to say that, what are the, let me say in last two, three minutes, what are the proposed activities? Proposed activity is to form a, co the, this is my, I mean, thinking. We should make, a, I was discussing in the morning uh, to VC of KGMU and Director SGPGI, that we have to make a core group. My Akela kuch bhi nahi kar sakta. We have to make a group. I think most of the jo bade bade institutes hain, universities hain, unse hume ek ek nomination lena padega. So they can make a core group of members and sit together in different occasions and decide how we can go ahead in the state of UP as far as National Academy is concerned. That is my first bulleted point I said. Core groups should meet at regular intervals to advise methods to fulfill the objectives of NMS. I would request both Dr. Puri and Dr. Dhiman. Madam is also sitting here. So that we have to nominate one or two very active, maybe very fellows, maybe members. In Lucknow, there are a lot of members I have. So we can make a seven, eight people group who can regularly meet and can decide how we are going ahead and what should be done. So all the, all the, all the activities we have to, we have uh, already made a directory, literally we, we are working for the last two months to make that directory because the numbers and everything is what is provided because they are old numbers. So sometimes they are not working. So probably we have to do a lot of work on this. Regular meeting with fellow, I, I propose. Annual meeting of fellows, organization of CME. At UP, we have around 129 fellows. Yes. In Lucknow, we have got around uh, uh, about 35 fellows. We have all the list for Lucknow at least, and for UP, literally most of the list are now complete, but still we are in process. So annual state chapter conference may be held. Any other point suggested by the core group? I mean, these are the my initial idea. 
that why we should uh, how, how how we should go ahead idea being is only one i think professor in must be listening that to how to increase the various activities of national academy in the state of uttar pradesh let me end by saying uh, a word from this famous man kuch slide idhar udhar bhi ho gayi mujhe lagta hai if you want to sign like especially jo younger log baithe hue hain hamari faculty bhi baithi hui hai amit suno eh if you want to sign like a sun first burn like a sun so we have to work very hard if you really want to sign and uh, there is another quotation i you i was very fond of quoting hamare pg log sab has rahe hain एनी वन अब भाई पढ़ो और किसी चीज के लिए ना ना पढ़ो लेकिन एक चीज के लिए तो जरूर पढ़ो मैंने उस दिन अब्बास साहब से भी कह रहा था भाई बंकिंग बहुत लोग करते हैं ये दिखाया करो अपने उसमें एनी वन हु कीप्स लर्निंग स्टेज यंग अब देखिए मैडम हमारी बैठी हुई है सरोज रमई बिकॉज आई आई नो दैट सीख सीख कैप्टन लर्निंग सो एनी वन हु कीप्स लर्निंग स्टेज यंग that said by henry ford and i like this so with these few words also i wanted to say so many things but i am sorry because of the post viral i had a cough mere resident jante mujhe khansi kabhi nahi aati pata nahi kyun nahi aati to mujhe nahi pata lekin aa jayi so thank you very much and idea is to just we will sit together we'll 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 make a core group help is required from most of the institutes so that meeting can happen not that every time meeting will happen in era my my idea is sometimes we can meet kgmc sometimes we get sgpj i have also invited rml director sonia nitanand because she was busy at least you lucknow mein ye teen char to bahut bahut core group hai hamare institutes ke so i wanted your help so that we may work together and can progress in the field of national academy with these words thank you very much and if you have any question i'd love to answer in the end thank you thank you so much sir i now request professor r k dhiman director sanjay gandhi post graduate institute of medical sciences lucknow to address the gathering welcome sir good morning everyone professor sk sareen and professor umesh kapil who have joined online professor sareen is the president of the nms and uh, professor digambar behra who is president elect and uh, dr saroj churamani gopal who is the past president of the nms lieutenant general bipin puri professor farzana mahadi professor jamal masood professor rajendra prashad and of the dais particularly i can see at least uh, my three teachers i would like to acknowledge one is professor g k singh who taught me orthopedics and professor p k sharma who taught me the anatomy and professor ekethar pati who taught me the medicine also so my gratitude to all of you and ladies and gentlemen first of all i would like to congratulate professor rajendra prashad for starting the up chapter of the nams i think it is a great beginning if you want to expand if nms has to be expanded then it has to go to the state wise so i must also congratulate that this decision which was taken on 17th of the january 2023 which approved the that every state should have a chapter of the nms and i would like to congratulate dr rajan prashad and madam also for starting the first chapter in the state of the up uttar pradesh i think it is a great beginning 
Dr. Rajan Prashad has told you the several functions or objectives of the NMS that you all know, but I totally agree with him. If you look at the average age of the those who have the those who are the fellows, it is beyond 60. We want the younger one, and I totally agree with him that the uh, we should be giving the fellowships to the persons who are younger in age, maybe the 40 plus or the 50s also, and they are the actively performing their function, maybe in the medical college institutions or elsewhere. I think this is the great need as of today that we should be having the younger FAMS also. He enumerated uh, that uh, members, anybody can members also. Anybody who is coming up after the DM or, uh, or from the DNB courses or maybe the MDMS after three years, they may be offered the membership also. I think enhancing the capacity of the NMS, I think it is the need of the hour, but that is something I feel. And now we have started the chapter. So, uh, what should we do actually? What should be our objectives also? Uh, Professor Rajan Prashad has told you NMS, a National Virtual Graduated Medical CME. In short, we call it the Navigate uh, Medico CME programs, which is per uh, target group of this program is uh, MD, MS, MCS, DM, DNBs, MDS, PhDs and as well as the young participating doctors in the government and the private setup and maybe the allied professionals also. I think it is very, very important using this platform, which is the virtual platform, which is the online platform, if we are using it to train our these young, uh, uh, the youngers, I think it will be the great help that we can do to the this group as well as to the society and the NMS is very active in that and we should at the state level should also be very active in this direction also. The office bearers, now we have the state chapter, the office bearers must motivate the medical colleges and the medical institute to organize the CMEs, these CMEs or maybe the in-person CMEs also. And we must have the effective academic networking with other professional bodies of the health, uh, such as the cardiology, pediatrics, or other organizations also, and the state health department also, just to find out what is the local need of this uh, of the uh, state. And we can, uh, in that direction, we can promote knowledges as well as the skills also, and we can put. Uh, all those things uh, in a right perspective also. And I have just I told you that uh, we must identify important local health policy issues also. And we should develop the concept white paper or policy paper for the policy makers of the state. I think that is something once we have made a state chapter, we should be looking at the local needs uh, of the state also and that is very, very important. And we should also look at the outreach program. We should participate into it. For example, one of the outreach program could be the early detection of the cancers also. That is the one thing where the NMS can play a very important role because the state government is going to have now two or three programs for finding early detection of the cancer also as well as the treatment also. For example, we have the Karkinos also, we have the Jepaigo also. And there are many more also. I think we can help them uh, at our level also. And most important, Dr. Rajan Prasad, I would like to say that you have done a lot of work collecting the names also, the phone numbers also. I think we should also have a beautiful website of the state chapter also. And, uh, uh, and our um, main aim also, as you rightly said, at the national level, that should be at the state level also to recruit more or more members and to facilitate for becoming the more and more fellows from the state of the Uttar Pradesh. And uh, once again, I congratulate you and your team also and all best wishes for your all future endeavors also. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. I now request Lieutenant General Dr. Bipin Puri Honorable Vice Chancellor, King George Medical University, to address the gathering. Good 
Professor Shiv Kumar Sareen, uh, President of the National Academy of Medical Sciences, Professor Saroj Churamani Gopal, Madam, who has been the immediate past President of the NMS, Professor Rajinder Prasad, who is the convener, State Chapter of Uttar Pradesh, Professor Digambar Behera, President elect of the National Academy of Medical Sciences, Professor Dhiman, Director SGPGI, Professor Umesh Kapil, Secretary, National Academy of Medical Sciences, Professor Farzana, um, who was our chief host here this, morning, this uh, afternoon, and of course, Professor Jamal Masood, who is the principal of Iran Medical College. Fellows of the Academy, members of the Academy, students, faculty of Ira Medical College, fellow Georgians, I see Georgians all over, and friends, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's a great pleasure for me, not only as a fellow, but also as, uh, uh, as a representative from the King George Medical University to be here this afternoon for this inaugural function of the first uh, uh, for, the, for the first time, this uh, UP state chapter of the NMS. So it is a matter of great uh, pride for the state of Uttar Pradesh and we congratulate and we are so proud of Professor Rajinder Prasad to take it forward because it puts um, the NMS on a different pedestal in its growth story and I think it is... Um, so I was uh, just last night I was uh, reading about the NMS and uh, a couple of things which Professor Rajinder Prasad mentioned. I, s I feel it's so important to even repeat those statements because it historically they have huge, huge importance because as you are all aware that the NAMS is a very, very unique institution. He's talked about all that it does. But most importantly, it fosters academic excellence and when you foster academic excellence and when you want a meeting ground of medical and social issues it makes a huge huge impact and I think NMS to a large extent has been able to achieve uh, its aims and objectives and its goals very interestingly it all started in 1961 what he's and Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was the person who actually inaugurated and started was helpful in its inauguration of this uh, of this academy which is uh, a, I think a very very major milestone and imagine the first convocation being addressed by the president of, of the country now that's uh, are huge milestones for this academy and I think we are very very proud to be a part of this uh, academy well friends uh, let me also say this that uh, the fact it is an online platform where biomedical science, um, academy, academia from biomedical science, academia from education, higher education, and research all come together on a single platform. Make this a very important platform for us to pull our collective minds together. Because collectively, we can do a lot more which I'll talk about in a minute but I sincerely believe that uh, the the NMS the Academy when it um, does what it does giving fellowships or uh, helping to organize CMEs uh, I think it is really the way the way to go in terms of capacity building of our fellows our members um, at large I sincerely believe an environment which is friendly for innovation, creativity, collateral thinking, igniting young minds is really the need of the hour. And I think uh, to that extent, the NMS, the academy is doing a wonderful job. Now, I, I have just one or two things to say and this is what is the crux of what I need to say this to my fellow colleagues, friends and delegates. Research is an integral part of this academy. When I say this, I think I say this with a huge amount of commitment. 
And what sort of research are we talking about? I think it's so important for us to, to look at research which is uh, translational, which is targeted, and if, which is relevant to our society. I think unless and until you focus on these three issues, you go off track. You might be saying that I, I continue to do observational research, I do basic research, but the mindset must always be how can you possibly contribute towards society. And I think that is the word, that is the, my first remark which I would want to make. I have another one. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, data, data is the new currency in today's world. And let me also say this to you, that data science as a science is now developing. And that's, un un unless and until we as medical scientists get together with the data scientists and try and make algorithms, templates, systems, data sets to take research to a different level, I think we'll miss, we'll miss the trees for the woods. I think, to me, this online platform which the Academy gives you is a platform where data scientists must help us as medical scientists to help us to analyze data, big data, and try and make it more useful information to talk about predictions, strategies, outcomes, um, uh, prognostic prognosticators. I think that to me is a, a very important common ground and I would request um, the, uh, the convener to look at data science as a separate template where they must be used to help us as medical scientists to come to a common platform. And I sincerely believe, and I say this again, I keep saying it in my own university, I keep saying it, I've said it all my life in the armed forces, that academic honesty for a proper data collection continues to be the, the basic tenet on which everything is going to happen. So you can't make any algorithms, you can't make any templates if your data is fabricated or false. And therefore, correct, honest acad academic uh, integration and formulation of data, I think, would be the first step towards this goal. Can NAMS do some sort of a looking at how honest is your data is something which I think the NMS has to take on. And I think it's, it's a role which must be addressed at some stage because it's not only UP state chapters, it's not only India, but the world is watching. The world is watching what data are you talking about how authentic is your data? How validated is your data? Because based on data, everything comes thereafter. So uh, I have just one last point to make, and I sincerely believe, and I keep saying this in my own institute as well, multi-centric and multi-institutional -inst collaborations is the need of the hour. A, a small vertical doing uh, some uh, local research is excellent. But if you diversify, if you make it multi-institutional, multi multi-centric, it adds to the impact not only because of large sample size, but because not only because of uh, sharing of resources, but also because it improves your networking and your collective wisdom. With these few words, once again, I congratulate uh, Professor Rajinder Prasad for the initiation of the UP chapter of the Academy and Iram Medical University for hosting us uh, this afternoon. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, sir. I would now request Professor Saroj Churamani Gopal, our guest of honor,
former Honorable Vice Chancellor, King George Medical University, and immediate past president, National Academy of Medical Sciences, to address the gathering. Welcome, ma'am. Let me, at the outset, thank Dr. Rajan Prasad, the convener and the host of this pleasant meeting today, to have invited me physically to be here. Uh, President Dr. Sareen uh, joining online, Dr. Kapil joining online, Secretary of the National Academy of Medical Sciences, uh, Dr. Digambar Bahre, the President-elect of the Academy, Madam Fazana, uh, who is so vibrant as an academician and has taken this institution to re really great academic heights and Dr. Diman from SGPJ, Dr. Bipin Puri from KGMA, Dr. Jamal, and lots of faculty of, uh, uh, from KGMA. Uh, I'm seeing Dr. G. They are all very senior fellows, and I'm seeing Dr. G.K. Singh over here, Dr. Sharma, Dr. Mama, and uh, I think uh, I have not been born with a good center of memory. So Dr. Amita Jain and so many others whom I know very well, but name might be escaping, uh, Dr. A.K. Tripathi, and the young faculty from ARA. It has been, I must say a word about ARA Medical Institute. I think it's a university which takes pride in working with latest. I find she organized a very good uh, CME program out, I think about two years uh, with personalized medicine and um, many more things. Uh, the very idea of the National Academy of Medical Sciences to make it more vibrant and this is a national academy, so it has to percolate to the whole nation. And fortunately, there is no dearth of brain in India. So what we have to do is bring them together, connect them uh, together, and in, in, uh, enthusiasm them, sensitize them that they have a lot more to do than just remaining confined in their own domains. And that's what has been the main idea. Uh, Dr. Rajan Prasad, uh, when it is said that the half the job is done if you identify a proper person. And I would say the academy has been good in identifying Dr. Rajan Prasad, who is not only a good physician and a good teacher, but is also a good organizer. So academy will certainly find him to be suitable for this and he would the role of uh, the UP chapter is to uh, is to give sense to other medical institutions I think when I was the president I th thought that academy was more of a business of becoming academy of uh, national institutes like AIMS. I thought the whole country should take a pride, of all medical co colleges should take a pride to be equally well represented in this. So when Dr. Rajan Prasad being a very dynamic person, uh, the academy would expect that not only the four or five medical colleges of Lucknow uh, are joining, but he should make hard uh, efforts to let the other state medical colleges to get involved. Maybe that uh, you make, um, uh, take opportunity of making all the deans and principals of UP state medical colleges as associate member of UP chapter, irrespective of the fact that they are FAMS or they are MEMS or not. You can take this for the academic purpose. You can say that we uh, make you the academic uh, uh, associate fellow for this purpose for a period of three years. Also, I would find, like to share something, a worry about 
National Academy of Medical Sciences, you have had the glimpses of this great organization, how well it shot off. And uh, to be a fellow of the academy itself used to be a great honor. And obviously, this used to be given to most of the time people used to get it around 55 to 60. So after 60, many but even after 60, then that's the time when people start planning their retirement. So usually that kind of energy for uh, leading the country for uh, most uh, other causes is probably not that much. So we have to think of having an enthusiastic people. And the most enthusiastic people in medicine are from 45 to 55. And that's where we are. Uh, so the uh, road ahead for excellence is uh, uh, quite virgin. And the I feel, you know, where we should try to focus the country to is, as rightly said by Dr. Bipin Puri, that we have to focus. You see, the world is so wide. We can't achieve excellence in everything. But we must have to focus. And the focus has to be on regenerative medicine. The focus has to be on personalized med medicine. The focus has to be on genetic medicine so that we could come, uh, uh, come over those diseases which we have not been able to find a solution to. The idea of, um, uh, you would be happy to note that the National Academy has been given a mandate of continued medical education. And this medical education is, may not just be limited to the medical um, degrees, but also paramedical and nursing. And this is a very wide field. The idea of organizing CMEs is to sensitize the mind what can be done. Unless we know what is being done around, we cannot think of uh, innovations either. So the idea of uh, uh, scrutinizing various K CME programs is to initiate people to learn what is being done and what to learn what can be done. And this knowledge has to be there. And then we have to focus with uh, right from undergraduate level to postgraduate level and every level. There could be a room for innovations and there could be room for, uh, for research. And research and innovations are to be for practical direct application to clinical problems or our societal problems. And that's where I'm sure uh, the very minds when they, we are put together, something really great evolves. And I uh, wish him a very great good luck for all this. I'm hoping for very best to come out from UP. UP has been a leader of the country for years. And we have to be leader in academics also. Thank you so much. I would now request Professor Digambar Beri, President-elect, National Academy of Medical Sciences, to address the gathering. Professor Sib Sarin, Professor Churamani Gopal, Professor Firzana, uh, my friend uh, Dr. Diman, General Puri, and uh, of course, uh, Professor Rajendra Prasad, whom we call as the Bhishma Pitama of Respiratory Medicine in India. And he's a great friend, great teacher, great uh, researcher, scholar, and great clinician. And uh, Professor Umesh Kapil, who has, who has joined online, the Secretary of National Academy of Medical Sciences. At the very outset, I am thankful to the Pro Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice -Chancellor Professor Rajendra Prasad, and the management of uh, ERA Institute uh, for inviting me to be associated with uh, this one of the, I should say, uh, greatest push of the National Academy to start the, I think this is the first state to uh, start uh, the, uh, you know, the state chapter. I'll come to that a little later, what about, what is the push about the uh, state chapter. Uh, about the various activities and the purpose of National Academy has already been highlighted by Professor Rajendra Prasad. But I'll just uh, uh, like to add a few things 
this uh, academy is a unique institute which fosters and utilizes academic excellence as its resource to meet the medical and social goals. As was told, it was registered first in the name of Indian Academy of Medical Sciences on the 21st April 1961, that is about 63 years back. Therefore, every 21st April, we celebrate the Foundation Day of the Academy. And it was inaugurated at New Delhi on 19th of December 1961 by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India. And again, the first convocation of the Academy was held on the 8th December 1963 at Vigyan Bhavan, and the convocation address was delivered by none other than Dr. Sarbapali Radhakrishnan, the then President of India. The Academy was renamed as the National Academy of Medical Sciences on the 16th November 1976 on the recommendation of a working group set up by the Government of India. I'm sure the Secretary and the President, Dr. Sarin, they will give some account of various achievements of the Academy so far. However, so what is the, how is it, how does it matter the Academy? We have got so many associations, we have all doctors, our medical scientists, we have got uh, Indian Chess Society, we have got Indian Medical Association, we have got Orthopedics Association. So how the National Academy is different than, the, is it just an association, just a, you know, just a federation of some specialization? I think it is somehow different. The important uniqueness of the Academy is that, unlike many other professional societies, as I mentioned, or associations, of various medical specialties, this academy consists of all branches of medical science of all categories and specializations and functions like an autonomous body where excellence and achievements only matter. Who's who of all branches of medical science, whether clinical, paraclinical or basic sciences are part of this august body. I think that is the basic difference between other associations and this academy. You know the vision, what is the vision of this National Academy? To act as a think tank for policy makers in all spheres of medicine, including medical education, research, for cost-effective healthcare, to help the humanity at the national and international level. And the roles and the responsibility are to promote knowledge of biomedical sciences in India, and its application to problems of national health and welfare to recognize and encourage merit in all branches of biomedical and allied sciences and to confer distinctions, awards and such honors on fellows and officers and others commensurate with their achievements. To undertake biomedical scientific research of national and international importance and to assist the government of India and its agencies in framing policies and programs on biomedical and public health issues. <laughs> so promoting medical education by conducting CME in medical institutions throughout the country. So you see, it has got a broad spectrum of activities. And also to publish proceedings, journals, monographs, transactions, reports, and other materials as and when necessary and to encourage talent and recognize merit of health and biomedical students, NAMS has established various orations and awards. And again, to undertake medical scientific work of national and international importance through proper, properly constituted committees. You know, NAMS has so far had more than nearly 1,000 fellows. The fellows, you know, the, the fellowship of the academy is one of the coveted ones. It's not that easy. I'll just give, uh, you know, my own perspective. I passed out my national board examination in respiratory medicine as well as general medicine in the year 1982 and 83. It, it took me nearly, you know, you calculate how many years. In 2006 only, I was awarded the fellowship. So each time I was thinking and cursing actually the academy, that why they are not giving me a fellowship. Maybe I myself was overestimating myself. 
that uh, by why they are not giving me a fellowship but again the idea is not to be restrictive i think one of the great ideas i must give this credit to professor uh, chudamani that while she was the president so this idea was applied it should not be restrictive it should be more elaborative and should be more inclusiveness then i realized while because i am working in the academy as it say uh, council member for uh, uh, more than now 7 years and then uh, elected as its president so then i realized actually the problem is you know the number of fellowships every year was restricted to 30 and again that was divided into four different categories medical surgical paramedical then basic scientist like this so aapka your quota i used to come how many seven or eight so that is the reason why many people are you know they were not able to get their fellowship so i think it was decided from 30 now it is increased to 60 right what is the it was done and then dr sib sarin had pushed that forward so then the he introduced again to young india it is everything everybody is young so i was just seeing the list possibly of course i am not yet the president the youngest president by the time i'll take over will be 72 years i'll be seven i am now 71 when i'll take over i'll be 72 so i'll be the youngest president and at the age of 72 will be the president you know you can see so how so therefore again the question of uh, young people to be included in the in the academy so the system of associate fellowships and other things came in and i think this is a dynamic process this third process has already started and i am sure this will be maybe something else will come up that maybe it can still be more relaxed but when madam actually was proposing more numbers but i think as uh, uh, i should see i was also one of them that we oppose that no don't increase suddenly it is only a restrictive mind i should say because now i thinking it was possibly you are not correct but maybe we thought okay we are linians little conservative pehle 30 ko 60 karte hain fir dekhte hain but i think as a uh, my personal opinion i have not uh, talked to professor sarin or the secretary or other members i think it should be still some liberalism is required so that if we want to include more and more people then the second important thing is the state chapters to include again all state chapters so this is the again dr sib sarin it is again his brain child he has already you know the every state will have a convener and a nodal officer so all the states and union territories are now identified and think i am glad that uh, this is the uh, although we have identified the coordinators and the nodal officers but i think the first one so he is always fast actually dr rajendra prasad sometimes i am envious of him that he is always the first one to jump and he is a very good organizer and i am sure you have got the highest number of fellows i was just trying to remember so the up has got a highest number of fellows then the second thing about then what is the difference between the cmes organized by the academy you know cmes many institutes many department many particularly respiratory sir you remember every day there will be two three groups are doing cmes everybody does the cme so how does it matter if the national academy does also a cme is it different yes it is different how many up you will hear a lecture of professor sib sarin talking about liver diseases it is only he may be talking to his cme or his to his liver group again same thing uh, with dimam so is a great hepatologist when he must be talking only to your group but how many the throughout the nation when it is a he will be a part of the cme education to the post graduates and all that that he is whatever he teaches whatever he will teach that will be spread irrespective of the branches so obviously so this is how the difference the quality of cme and then its expansion or its spread or the knowledge acquired by such great i just named two people from one same thing rajendra prasad rajendra prasad ji must be speaking to the cme of respiratory people pgs respiratory physicians but when he will speak about say for example tb control program so everybody throughout the country will listen what is happening in tb what is happening in asthma i am just giving you previous so that is the ladies and gentlemen 
the difference between the CME of NAMS and the academy as a as a whole about the society and the associations. And I we must take it to greater heights. And when people, great people like uh, uh, Chudamani ji and like uh, Dr. Sarin, so if they are there, I am sure this is uh, going to reach in greater heights. So this is all about the fellows. We have got, it runs through a council. As uh, he has already told you, they are all elected by the fellows. So, and then the membership, they now the associate fellows already had said. Then again, I think another very good uh, and very visionary initiative was taken by Professor Sarin. He has addressed twice, I remember twice or thrice, to all the deans and the directors, all the deans and the directors of more than 650 institutions in this country. Of course, the, we have got now mushrooming of medical institutions, but the good, great thing, all the institutions and the, he himself, personally, he has taken this pain and he has, uh, you know, addressed all the deans, directors and academicians. So that is a great help to spread to the, the message of National Academy to various institutions. You heard about uh, the Navigate Medicos program and just uh, yesterday, Dr. Kapil has already sent a circular about, you know, engaging exchange program for medical scientists, for the young scientists. Right? So young scientists can take, they will give in a scholarship. So they will visit the institutions of their choice to get uh, and to get. So these are some of the newer initiatives that is being taken. And then again the emeritus professor, sir, you are emeritus professor also. Yeah. That means you have to die. So, take, so there is a group of emeritus professors. So that again, this by this system, so these, these senior people, learned experienced people, so again they are selected through a very rigorous process. It is not that it is given to anybody or everybody. So they can visit institutions twice a year, I think, and then they are given certain remunerations and so they can go and uh, teach and uh, about research, about medical education, about uh, various aspects of medical science. So these are some of the newer initiative, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, uh, is being uh, uh, taken up. And regarding the state chapter, as uh, I have already told you, uh, it is a fast beginning. So, uh, Professor uh, Rajendra Prasad, and I am sure the UP can do it. It should not only be confined to Lucknow, yeah. or only you told about, obviously, they are the leaders, SGPGI, KGMU, they are the leaders, and ERA, they are the leaders, but I think UP is a big state. There are other institutions, many institutions. So that also must reach them. And you should take care of those things also. I'm sure you are going to do that. That will be only uh, my request. So ladies and gentlemen, so I'll stop here. And I again congratulate uh, uh, Professor Rajendra Prasad, the madam, and the institute itself. And I wish the UP chapter of uh, National Academy of Medical Sciences leads the way and show us the way how this should be implemented in other states of the country. I'm sure we are going to, uh, you know, to push this thing in other areas and in other states. And uh, I'm sure we'll be, all of us is going to be, are going to be benefited by this. Jai. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I have got an opportunity to introduce a few fellows of National Academy of Medical Sciences who are present amongst us, apart from all the dignitaries in the dais. Professor R.K. Gupta, sir. Professor Shadab Mohammed, sir. <laughs> Professor Amita Jain. <laughs> Professor Chandeshwar Nath ji. <laughs> Professor Sandeep Saxena. <laughs> Professor R.K. Garg. Professor A.K. Tripathi, <laughs> Professor Vijay Kumar. Uh, my heartfelt apologies to those uh, names I have missed. I request Dr. Ka Umesh Kapil, Secretary, National Academy of Medical Sciences, to address the gathering. Sir is online with us. Uh, good afternoon and namaskar to all the dignitaries on dais and off the dais. सबसे पहले मैं तहे दिल से मैडम फरजाना मेहंदी 
का शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहूंगा कि उन्होंने इतना ज्यादा सपोर्ट दिया डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद जी को एक टेक्निकल काम करने के लिए फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट के लिए एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव इजाजत दी कि नेशनल एकेडमी के वो एक स्तंभ के रूप के अंदर वो काम कर सकें उत्तर प्रदेश में डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद जी हमारे बहुत पुराने फेलोज हैं हमारे साथी हैं एंड ही हैज बीन हेल्पिंग अस इन ऑल नेम्स एक्टिविटीज इन उत्तर प्रदेश एंड other parts of the country i would like to say only two things that uh, up has a large amount of talent we have dr b l verma from biostatistics a very he is a senior professor also we have dr shelly avasti a one of the most eminent uh, pediatrician recognized not only in country but internationally there are many many schools in the up we would be grateful if a networking of all these fellows all these members and there are so many medical colleges if a networking can be done of for the medical colleges and we assume and we expect and we request a very strong request and a humble request to dr rajendra prasad ji as a state convener please do a networking of all the medical colleges tri medical colleges and government medical colleges i must say that uh, this networking and motivate all the medical colleges to start cme program which are sponsored by nans is very important and uh, we may not be able to support with a large amount of funds but our national academy logo our recognition can be utilized for generation of funds this is something important and we look forward in the long run that uh, these cme programs are sustainable self sustainable a small amount of money can be charged as a registration fees and these these programs should be sustainable because we are not that rich in organization to support all the uh, semi programs we do support the scientist exchange program if you want to find that there is a brilliant scientist who wants to go under training in ccmb hyderabad or nin hyderabad or come to aims please go ahead and pay them and send us their bio data we have circulated so that we are able to help the young brains to go for the higher level of expertise will be led to support them and again i would like to since my most sincere thanks to farzana ma'am to give your blessings to dr ajender prashad and please continue to give blessings so that we are able to take the nams objectives nams mandate to the entire uttar pradesh with these few words again thank dr ajender prashad and the entire group for inviting me as a part of the this particular inauguration of the state convener of a state chapter of uttar pradesh thank you very much namaskar we also have amongst us dr sood deputy secretary national academy of medical sciences who has joined us online it is an honor to welcome our honorable pro vice chancellor era university director academics era's lucknow medical college and hospital and academic dean american university of barbados professor farzana mehndi to deliver the presidential address welcome ma'am good afternoon professor churamani ma'am professor puri professor dheeman professor behre uh, professor rajin prashad sahab professor jamal masood sahab uh, respected fellows members uh, from various institutions 
from Lucknow, faculty members from ERA University, and invited guests and dear students. Today's presidential address was supposed to be delivered by Professor Abbas, uh, Vice Chancellor, ERA University, but uh, due to some immediate work, he is not with us today, but uh, he has expressed his uh, desire to thank each one of you, all the dignitaries, all the fellows, all the members of NAMS, uh, President Professor Sareen and uh, uh, Professor Umesh uh, Kapil Sahab and others who have joined, the fellows and members who have joined this program online uh, to convey his regards and uh, his uh, gratitude that all of you are here today on this historic occasion when uh, UP chapter of uh, National Academy of Medical Sciences uh, has uh, is established in ERA University. Indeed, it is a very proud moment for, uh, for ERA, uh, which has always uh, supported and uh, extended, you know, uh, always uh, for excellence in medical education, patient care and research. Professor Mehdi Hassan Sahab, who was the founder, trustee uh, and principal uh, under whose guidance and leadership this institution was started. Uh, this was his uh, vision and dream that excellence is in medical education should never be compromised upon. And we, all of us in ERA, are trying our level best to uh, live up to his expectations. So, uh, since there is not much time, we are running, uh, you know, behind our sh schedule. So, one or two things important which I would like to mention that ERA uh, is always standing in support of uh, any activities which enhances, promotes, uh, you know, excellence in, in the field of medical education. And we are very thankful to uh, Professor Rajin uh, Prashad Saab, who is Director of Medical Education here and uh, Professor Emeritus, that he has taken all the pains and, uh, and he was working uh, very sincerely for the last couple of uh, weeks in order to put together this program and bring here in ERA all the luminaries from various fields, online and offline. So, uh, as uh, uh, he has mentioned that uh, NAMS had, uh, um, you know, sponsored uh, one uh, CME, uh, uh, which was organized by Professor Jamal Masood Sahab, uh, and one um, workshop in the Department of Personalized Medicine on Sanger sequencing was also uh, sponsored and in future we are also planning to organize such workshops and CMEs uh, along with the NAMS uh, under the UP chapter. Nowadays it is uh, like uh, since after the COVID the importance of all the health workers coming together be it our medical uh, men, nurses, technicians, paramedics. We have seen how uh, important their role is when uh, we were uh, treating the patients for COVID. How everybody came together and worked as a team. And that's how we were able to fight and conquer COVID to a certain extent. So, with this in mind, here in ERA, uh, a society has been formed in which what uh, we have done that we have tried to include all the health professionals, be it physiotherapy, from physiotherapy, optometry, nursing, pharmacy, and various allied health sciences. 
So uh, this year, in uh, the month of December, we are organizing a conference. Basically, it is to promote uh, education, to train the trainers, whether it is uh, a nursing faculty, paramedical faculty, or from medical background. We want to train them as to how to teach and train their respective students so that the product which is finally going to graduate or going to postgraduate is having quality and they once they go out and start practicing they excel in that in their respective fields so with this aim in mind this society has been put together and i am already announcing that in association with nams we are going to uh, organize this conference on a national level the brochures and the work is just in progress and within uh, one month's time we will be taking out the first flyer being a person from um, uh, uh, you know who has been doing medical education for the last 20 years time and again we will be organizing events where we can train faculty we can um, you know help the faculty new faculty to develop the skills for teaching and training students and our department of personalized medicine which has was started few years back every year we are trying to have conferences cmes and uh, workshops uh, the reason is that we want to uh, bring an awareness train our graduates and medical graduates and uh, other uh, professionals from other fields who are involved in research and uh, trying to find new solutions for treatment of diseases. Um, we um, organize uh, CMEs and these uh, kind of workshops in order to train them, train the professionals and uh, to uh, you know build a, a small team where as uh, you know Professor Puri had said that it's always good that if uh, one, one uh, uh, institute is working in a particular direction it's always good if we can have a uh, number of institutes coming together in finding a solution. So these two three things we have in our mind uh, which we will be taking as an initiative and of course all the help with whatever is required uh, in order to uh, carry out the mission of the UP uh, state uh, this uh, chapter of NAMS is uh, we are ready to provide any kind of help uh, so with these words I thank and congratulate uh, Professor Rajin Prashad, Professor Sareen, Professor Kapil, Professor Behrai so that uh, <coughs> the mission which we have in mind today, it will be delivered in times to come. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, ma'am. I now request Professor Shiv Kumar Sareen, our Chief Guest for the day, President, National Academy of Medical Sciences, Director and Honorable Chancellor, Institute of Liver and Biliary Science to give his blessings. Sir is online with us today. Thank you. Uh, era University brings a new era. We are grateful and we salute you. On behalf of the NAMS small group of workers, I would like to thank or salam adab to uh, Professor Abbas Ali Mehendi Sahab and Madam Farzana Mehendi and the entire team of ERA, the Professor Faridi and Zambal Masulsa. My special thanks to Dr. Rajendra Prasad, uh, whom I have known for quite some time. Uh, he is really exemplary. And uh, thanks to Dr. Churamani and uh, Dr. Bera for giving all the details of what NAMS can do. I will not repeat what you have said. I will only say that NAMS 
gives you a voice to all the medical people there is no academic institution you have societies you have associations but like indian national science academy or bangalore academy or allahabad academy the national academy for medical sciences is not a society not an association but an academy which represents to the government policy makers to all the fellows it is your academy and it is an overarching academy whether you are a cardiologist pulmonologist pediatrician anyone it's you it is your academy so if you want to speak you have a voice if you want to work to show you have a place you have a platform i'll give you some brief examples the time i was lucky to start neat and next in 2010 when i had the privilege of working in medical council i thought it was a great initiative after many years i realized we only have multiple choice questions and the skills have gone the part that we wanted to learn had somewhat diluted we worked out and we now have started navigate navigate cme is generally a hybrid cme is to navigate the medical person to achieve skills and this cme is unique and i want you to appreciate this part that it will have small clips 10 seconds 15 seconds videos questions by the best of the teachers in the country you want to hear some pulmonologist across india you can hear cardiologist across india so what we need is to appreciate that navigate is to graduate medical students who will become md ms dnb to have those skills which we lose bedside manners bedside examinations as well as let's say you have movement disorders all those can be put in small clips and they will be video so i encourage you to join all that that's one initiative now what else does a student or a young student get it you have as an associate fellow i mean you just right i am an associate fellow of national academy of us you will be like you may given a seat to sit down but are we there is our academy that is strong we will by people joining anybody who has done dm mch or similarly phd is welcome you can apply and the doors are open and you will bring us you will guide us third part is what does a teacher get a teacher becomes a mentor if you teach and you become a mentor for the country the academy has given this advice that whoever gives this national cmes will become a mentor you have given two lectures so you are a nabs mentor and a mentor is wherever you go you will be a mentor of course you will be if you like and if you have time and if you have strength of evidence you can be in the task force so what can a teacher be a mentor can contribute and contribute to national task force of course you will also be worthy enough to educate by becoming co guides or giving suggestions which we are starting very soon for people to take thesis topic so nams will be become a platform where you can give thesis topics and questions and you can pick up at least a co guide not the guide from anywhere in the country nams is soon going to consider this proposal i have something for the national conference which will be from 5th to 7th of october in bangalore what is going to be special in this national there will be a national quiz 10000 students can participate 
So you actually, as a student, can compete from ERA to KGMC to SGPGI anywhere. So this national quiz, and we are preparing for the 5th to 7th of October. Join, you can submit your abstracts. It also will be a hybrid. Hybrid in the sense you will be going to see virtually or really the Aerospace Museum. We need to learn to think literally. NAMS, as I said earlier, the CMEs are hybrid, the thinking is hybrid. So we create different breeds of doctors. Just not, let's say, liver guy who knows so little about liver and nothing else. No. We want you to open up to industry. We want you to open up to cross thinking. So the 5th to 7th of October, last year we had the best breakthrough innovations. Those who made mRNA vaccines, those who made DNA vaccines, or who made the first Indian COVID vaccine. So all these three giants were there. The IITs were there, the IIMs were there. So this is a cross-breeding, and that is what I thought NAMS can provide. So first interaction, with all societies of the medical branch and then going beyond medicine. Now, I have something for the state chapter. I just checked up, UP has 35 medical colleges and in addition to AIMS, you have DHU, you have RML and of course the most prestigious KGMU and CBMR, you have four IITs and then you have CDRI and then you have CSIR and what not. What a rich state. Dr. Rajendra Prasad, you have all these institutions already with you. Connect and teach us, lead us the way you have led. And I have full faith that with you and of course the blessings of ERA and my very dear academic brilliant person Dr. Dhiman and others, there is no going back. Your state chapter may become the best. I have something for Dr. Vipin Puri. Dr. Puri, you have given brilliant ideas. Data science, how to authenticate, multi-centric, multi-institutional. Believe me, we will act. Just about two weeks ago, we had the privilege of DG FMS, Dr. Daljeet Singh Ji, Lieutenant General Dr. Daljeet Singh Ji, and believe me what he did, he connected all the army headquarters, all the branches, Air Force, Navy, Infantry, all the DGs and the generals and Lieutenant Generals across India were there in that meeting. And we just had the distinct honor of seeing all the armed forces, doctors with us. What we wanted was, please ask us. Ask us a question, guide us. It is your academy and I am a small, you know, small pin in that whole big circle. I just want you to tell us what to do. So what you have told us, sir, the data science, how to authenticate, multi-centric, multi-institutional, this will be done. I'll work with you and if you can just send a small WhatsApp or a mail and if you could spare time to lead this, how to do it, we will salute you. I also feel it's a time that Madam Farida, Faridi and Dr. Rajendra Prasad can make some announcement. Once they said is in December, you can call it as a midterm meeting of the state chapter but 25th of may every year if you accept should become the foundation day of your state chapter and every year that will be your end if you agree will be your annual conference and then you have a midterm which you will do every year maybe december or whenever november and then of course you will have monthly or state activity one or two more small requests you have the best of the institutes here, BHU, SEBGI, KGMU. You can have a CME, which is run for two hours, once a month, where all the institutes are connected in UP. Maybe we will also learn where 
like in our days 9 30 to 12 was a clinical course or a clinical session if all the institutes have some kind of an agreement on a clinical course it can be amazing how you will learn together you will have from mountain you will have from you know all these big things uh, from the armed forces i also see dr dhawan a uh, old friend i am sure the gaps in research will be fulfilled by dr dhawan and his team today i feel very happy i feel very proud i really feel that each of the stakeholders has done more than what we thought each of you has given your time your emotions your efforts please make the academy your academy make it your voice academic voice we have opened up for the global field invite your people to become your friends international friends to become a fellow member of the national academy from overseas why can't we lead and up has shown your team has shown on behalf of my colleague dr behra an absolute eloquent speaker and my very worthy secretary dr umesh kapil and uh, dr sood uh, we are a very small group of four or five people but now i feel with up chapter we have a very large group of people salutations congratulations and more and more academic work to come from you thank you so much thank you so much sir thank you professor sarin uh, for blessing us i must say and uh, whatever you told about the our annual day about the mid term conferences about other scientific activities cmes i really uh, promise you that we'll try to live up to, to your expectation thank you very much once again dr sarin for coming and addressing us as a token of appreciation i request professor rajendra prasad sir to present mementos to our dignitaries for professor shiv kumar sarin and dr umesh kapil sir your memento uh, will reach via post i would like to also compliment and thank uh, dr churamani who has been a leading force and since she is there my mementos can also be given to her because i attribute to her a presence and uh, thank you madam thank you professor saroj churamani gopal ji <laughs> professor digambar behri <laughs> lieutenant general dr bipin puri <laughs> professor r k dhiman I would now request our principal and CMS Professor Jamal Masood to present a token of appreciation to Professor Rajendra Prasad. I request Professor Jamal Masood sir principal and CMS to deliver the vote of thanks. Good afternoon everyone. On behalf of the Ira Education Trust and Ira University I express my gratitude to the National Academy of Medical Sciences India and its president Professor S K Sareen for giving us the opportunity to organize the inaugural ceremony of state chapter of UP cell of the National Academy of Medical Sciences India. I am grateful to the chief guest of this function Professor S K Sareen president National Academy of Medical Sciences India and Professor Umesh Kapil secretary NAMS for spending their precious time to grace this occasion and for boosting our morale they joined us online thanks are also due to the guest of honor professor saroj churamani gopal immediate past president and dr digambar behra president elect nams india for gracing this occasion i am grateful to lieutenant general dr vipin puri honorable vice chancellor kgmu lucknow and Professor R K Dhiman, Director SGPGI, Lucknow, for sparing their precious time to grace this occasion. 
we are extremely grateful to our dynamic honorable vice chancellor professor abbas ali mehdi sir and our dynamic pro vice chancellor professor farzana mehdi ma'am for their leadership help encouragement support and advice at every stage in the organization of this memorable event special thanks are due to professor rajendra prasad convener state chapter up nms india for his vision he was instrumental in the organization of this e event he is the guiding force of all the activities of the up chapter of nms it was due to his constant support and encouragement that ira university was able to organize the first two cmes in of uttar pradesh i am thankful to all the guests and invitees deans hods faculty members students and media persons for gracing this occasion thank you everyone once again jai hind thank you uh, to all the fellows and all the members uh, who have joined online today we have assembled in era institute of medical sciences uh, era university to celebrate the first uh, up chapter um formation by the national academy of medical sciences india the objective of this uh, up chapter is to have a better coordination dissemination of knowledge and especially involvement of medical fraternity of up in uh, in research and education program innovation program uh, installation uh, so that the um, the issues of national health uh, issues of national um, uh, programs uh, health problems and education medical education are all addressed jointly uh, with feeling of involvement uh, in the uh, national academy at a national level uh, it is very happy to note that uh, out of the great mass of uh, acclaimed uh, uh, delegates acclaimed um, fellows and members of national academy of medical sciences india a large number comes from up up and these fellows are of very great eminence as uh, teachers in the medical fact uh, field as well as very good researchers so uh, the idea was that if we have state chapters and uh, state chapter of up should lead the other uh, state chapter in the country in this very endeavor and uh, it has been very uh, great that uh, dr dajend prasad who presently is at the uh, uh, university has been chosen to lead the uh, up state uh, chapter of national academy of medical sciences and he being a very good organizer uh, we are very hopeful that this endeavor will go a long way in uh, initiating good uh, research outcome as well as good clinical and uh, research oriented uh, organization of various cme programs thank you uh, mera naam dr digambar behra main pgi chandigarh se hu main agle 3 saal ke liye ye national academy of medical sciences ka president chuna gaya hu jo ki main agle saal se टेक ओवर करूँगा आज हम लोग यहाँ एरा मेडिकल कॉलेज में आए हुए थे क्योंकि यहाँ यूपी चैप्टर ऑफ एन एम एस जो कि नेशनल एकेडमी ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेस इसका इनाग्रेशन आज था और हम बहुत खुश हुए हैं कि यूपी एक पहला लीड लिया और पर्टिकुलरली जो एरा मेडिकल कॉलेज या जो मेरा ये एरा यूनिवर्सिटी है ये इसके लिए बहुत बड़ा लीड लिया इसके लिए हम जो प्रशासन है एरा में यूनिवर्सिटी का इसका हमें बहुत बहुत शुक्रगुजार हैं 
और ये जो नेशनल एकेडमी ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेस हैं ये के मेडिकल जो हमारा प्रोफेशन है जो मेडिकल साइंटिस्ट हैं फ्रॉम ऑल ब्रांचेस वो इनका एक एकेडमी है इसमें हमारा मेंबर्स होते हैं एसोसिएट फेलोज होते हैं और फेलोज होते हैं सो लगभग हमारा पाँच हज़ार करीब मेंबर हैं और एक हज़ार से ज़्यादा फेलोज हैं और इसमें हमारा जो मेन पर्पस इसको जो नेशनल एकेडमी को बनाने का जो पर्पस था ये था कि कंट्री में मेडिकल एजुकेशन और कंटिन्यूड मेडिकल एजुकेशन हेल्थ पॉलिसी ऑफ द कंट्री जो गवर्नमेंट बनाती हैं इसका हेल्प करने के लिए ये बनाया था ये लगभग अभी ये 63 थ्री ईयर्स हो गया और इसके साथ बहुत बड़े बड़े लोग जुड़े हुए थे इनका जो इनाग्रेशन हुआ था इसको पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू ने इसको इनाग्रेट किया था इसके बाद जो फास्ट कन्वोकेशन था जो इंडिया का प्रेसिडेंट सर्वपल्ली राधाकृष्णन है वो इनाग्रेट किए थे अभी रिसेंटली इसको हमारा हेल्थ मिनिस्टर और चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया और रिसेंटली एक दो महीना पहले श्री राजनाथ सिंह जी इसका एनुअल फंक्शन में चीफ गेस्ट होकर आए थे सो आप समझेंगे इससे कि इसका महत्व क्या है मेनली हमारा जो एक्टिविटी है एक तो हम क्वालिटी और जो कंट्रीब्यूशन है मेडिकल फील्ड में या जो रिसर्च फील्ड में मेडिकल रिलेटेड रिसर्च फील्ड में जिसका कंट्रीब्यूशन है इसको हम फेलोशिप देते हैं हमारा ओरेशन है अवार्ड्स हैं और जो सी एम ई पर्टिकुलरली यंग साइंटिस्ट जो हैं यंग डॉक्टर्स हैं पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट्स हैं इसको हम कंटिन्यूइंग मेडिकल एजुकेशन जो जितना भी एडवांसेस इन मेडिकल फील्ड में है इसको हम इनको टीच करते हैं ये एक हमारा मेन एक्टिविटी है और इसका हेड क्वार्टर हमारा न्यू दिल्ली में है और हमारा जैसे हमारा चौंतीस करीब यू और स्टेट चैप्टर्स हैं और इसको हम रिवाइव करके हम चाहते हैं कि ये सारे स्टेट में ऑल ओवर इंडिया में इसका प्रचार हो और सब लोग इसका हिस्सा बने और आज जो जैसे मैं कहा हम आज यहाँ आए थे यूपी में यूपी चैप्टर जो डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद जी हैं यहाँ का जो कन्वेनर हैं और इसका बहुत हेल्प किया हम केरा मेडिकल कॉलेज ने इसके लिए हम फिर बहुत बहुत शुक्रगुजार हैं और हम ये चाहते हैं कि ये जो यूपी चैप्टर है यहाँ जितना मेडिकल कॉलेज हैं जितना मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूट यहाँ आपका यूपी में है ये सब लोग इसका एक पार्ट बने और हमारा जो एक्टिविटी नेशनल एकेडमी का ये यूपी में बहुत अच्छी तरह प्रचार रहे जय हिंद गुड आफ्टरनून आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र प्रसाद कन्वीनर ऑफ नेशनल एकेडमी ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेस स्टेट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश टुडे दैट इज ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ मे ट्वेंटी थ्री इज अ रेड लेटर डे इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ एरा यूनिवर्सिटी as today we have inaugurated the state chapter cell of state of uttar pradesh of national academy of medical sciences india what i have been told that this is the first state chapter to be inaugurated in the history of national academy of medical sciences i am thankful to president of national academy of medical sciences dr sareen past president dr saroj chudamani president elect dr behra and secretary of national academy of medical sciences dr kapil and i am also thankful to large number of fellows from the state of uttar pradesh especially lucknow who has come to attend this inaugural function i am again thankful to the vice chancellor of kg medical university dr puri and then director of sanjeev gandhi postgraduate institute of medical sciences dr dhiman well it was my when i was made the convener of state chapter of uttar pradesh it was in my mind to start a state chapter and today that day has come and idea of state chapter as i have understood that to carry out the functions of 
National Academy of Medical Sciences in the state of Uttar Pradesh and bring and get it to the highest level so that the Uttar Pradesh this chapter functions very well. As you know that uh, there are large number of functions of National Academy of Medical Sciences. I will not go into details of this. And the state chapter has to contribute, cooperate and further improve the functioning of National Academy of Medical Sciences in the state of Uttar Pradesh as per the recommendation, as per rules and regulations. And to, the, to, to, uh, to, to, to do this effectively, uh, a, a core committee will be made where all the medical colleges will be involved and uh, we will uh, do it further. Once again, I am thankful to President and Secretary of National Academy for allowing me and to hold this function and I am very thankful to them for their presence. Thank you very much. I am Dr. Chandishwar Nath, retired chief scientist, CDRI, Lucknow. I have done MBBS MD KG Medical College. एमडी फॉर्म कॉलेज में की थी नेशनल एकेडमी ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेस हमारे लिए बड़ी प्रतिष्ठा की एकेडमी है मेडिकल बायोमेडिकल रिसर्च वालों के लिए 2009 में हमने मुझे फेलोशिप मिली थी इसकी और ये एक हमें ये प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड करती है जहां पे हम मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी रिसर्च मेडिकल साइंस की करने का अवसर मिलता है रिसर्च के अलावा इसमें मेडिकल एजुकेशन पे बहुत इनिशिएटिव प्रोग्राम लेते हैं जैसे सीएमए है या और इसमें ये यंगस्टर्स को ट्रैवल फेलोशिप देते हैं कि वो अपने इंडिया में जाके रिसर्च करने के लिए मंचाई लैब में जाए तो एक ये राष्ट्रीय स्तर पे गवर्नमेंट से समर्थित एक एकेडमी जो मेडिकल एजुकेशन और मेडिकल रिसर्च को दोनों को बहुत बढ़ावा देती है इसकी फेलोशिप मेंबरशिप बहुत ही प्रतिष्ठित मानी जाती है धन्यवाद सो थैंक यू वेरी मच it has been a pleasure to be here this afternoon for this uh, the first meeting of the UP chapter of the uh, National Academy of Medical Sciences and it is a pleasure to be participating in this uh, uh, academy activities. My hai that this is uh, going to be, Uttar Pradesh is going to be the, in the lead as far as uh, medical informatics, medical scientists, uh, is concerned and trying to collate data for capacity building of medical scientists, professionals and getting everybody onto the same platform for capacity building, for doing pioneering research and uh, trying to make policies which are relevant to our part of the world. So I think uh, with that objective, NAM's objective, UP chapter I'm sure we'll take the lead and we are very proud to be a part of this uh, institution. Thank you.